53. At places of comparable latitude north and south, the sun behaves very differently than it would on a spinning ball earth, but precisely how it should on a flat earth. For example, the longest summer days north of the equator are much longer than those south of the equator, and the shortest winter days north of the equator are much shorter than the shortest south of the equator. This is inexplicable on a uniformly spinning, wobbling ball earth, but fits exactly on a flat model with the sun traveling circles over and around the earth from tropic to tropic. 54. At places of comparable latitude north and south, dawn and dusk happen very differently than they would on a spinning ball, but precisely how they should on a flat earth. In the north, dawn and dusk come slowly and last far longer than in the south, where they come and go very quickly. Certain places in the north twilight can last for over an hour, while at comparable southern latitudes, within a few minutes the sunlight completely disappears. This is inexplicable on a uniformly spinning, wobbling ball earth, but is exactly what is expected on a flat earth with the sun traveling faster, wider circles over the south, and slower, narrower circles over the north. 55. If the sun circles over and around the earth every 24 hours, steadily traveling from tropic to tropic every six months, it follows that the northern central region would annually receive far more heat and sunlight than the southern circumferential region. Since the sun must sweep over the larger southern region in the same 24 hours it has to pass over the smaller northern region, its passage must necessarily be proportionally faster as well. This perfectly explains the differences in Arctic and Antarctic temperatures, seasons, length of daylight, plant and animal life. This is why the Antarctic morning, dawn, and evening twilight are very abrupt compared to the north, and this explains why many midsummer Arctic nights the sun does not set at all.